I spent the last few months testing the Kurosawa Ninja mousepad and it really stands out in a market filled with cheap, low quality effort mousepad clones. Unlike many plain options, the Ninja stands out due to its really unique Ninja design. As this is an ink print, it has zero impact on the surface feel and it only adds to the pad's minimal aesthetic. In terms of feel, the Crystal Ninja is quite similar to the Infinite Speed V2 or the Energon Pro, only it's actually a little bit faster. The most remarkable thing about this is how smooth it feels under a mouse. I think Maddie said it best in his video, but this feels like your mouse is gliding on air. Because of the lack of resistance and the speed of the glide, aiming feels really intuitive and effortless. Because of the lack of resistance and the speed of the glide, aiming feels really intuitive and effortless. However, this might not be for everyone, especially if you prefer uh, feeling a little bit of resistance for better control on tech FPS games such as Valorant or CS2. The pad actually presents a distinctive combination of friction properties, low dynamic friction for effortless motion, and a higher static friction which demands more effort to start the mouse movement. I really think these features give the pad a unique position as once you begin a movement, it's quick and precise but still requires a little bit of force to actually start the movement. Because of this, the Kurosawa Ninja is perfect and excels in fast paced tracking games like Apex, Overwatch 2, or smoothest scenarios in Kovacs. Um, I think that the quick response and really smooth tracking, I think that it's quick response and smooth tracking really does make it more suited for this style of aiming. If you're into more tactical FPS games where being more precise plays a larger role, as previously mentioned, Valorant or CSGO, uh, this might actually not be the best pad for you. I think that the key difference really does come down to preference uh, in your mouse pad, uh, as well as your skill regarding mouse control. The more mouse control that you do have, the easier it's going to be for you to use a faster pad like the Ninja. The Cursor Ninja uh, sits firmly on your desk uh, thanks to what I believe is an alpha cell base uh, paired with this medium level of firmness um, really similar to uh, artisans like medium. This combination ensures that your pad is going to stay in the same place in your desk and also offers a smooth and consistent experience across any game, including the TAC FPS games I already mentioned. Your choice of mouse gates is also going to play a crucial role in shaping your experience with the Kurosawa Ninja. Opting for core pads or obsidian skates might give you a sense of height control due to their slightly more resistant or textured nature. However, this is going to negatively impact uh, your experience with the pad. However, this is in my experience. In contrast, smoother skates like the Jades or Tiger Ice are going to amplify the mouse pad's glide, effectively reducing the pad's inherent static friction, um, a preference that I personally lean towards. If you already have a good pair of stock PTFE skates like the ones that the Lambzu provides, um, then you won't really need a change. I find that it's still really fast and hasn't negatively impacted my experience using it. Similar to the Fnatic Jet, it tends to absorb moisture and sweat which can seep into the fabric. This can be a significant hindrance, especially in humid environments or if users are sort of prone to sweating um, as this could potentially affect their in-game performance. It doesn't really show up on camera, but this is sort of what it looks like when you do get moisture on the pad. It does absorb it pretty quickly and it also does hold it for sort of a long time and this will actually have an impact on your performance. I found that wearing a sleeve to absorb excess moisture was an effective workaround for this issue. At $50, the Kurosawa Ninja is probably the best cloth speed pad on the market closely behind the Raiden Mid and with a cool design, it should definitely be on your list for a worthy consideration to be your next mouse pad when it does eventually get restocked. The one pad that I have heard this is going to be similar to is going to be the Padsmith Crucible, although that hasn't released yet and I haven't tried it out yet, so I can't give any real opinions on it. Thank you to Kurosan for sending out this beauty of a product. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe as well as comment any opinions that you had on the product or my video. As always, thank you for the support and I'll catch you guys in the next video.